I'm Sam, I'm 16 years old and I had a liver transplant 15 years ago. I'm Esther Scott, I had a liver transplant in 2010. My name's Glenda Raymond and I have a liver transplant for 20 years. I'm Jake Prince, I'm a liver transplant recipient. I'm uh, Pauline Sweeney, I'm a kidney transplant. I had the transplant in 2015. I'm uh, Colleen Ashby, I'm legally blind and lost my sight after I had a heart transplant five years ago. It's an inspiration meeting all the people from around the world with their amazing stories of survival and there's also a lot of fun. <laughs> means I can perform on the world stage of sporting as a liver recipient and I can promote organ donation and say to our donor families that we're thankful for what they did. Um, you meet people from all over the world who've had similar, not necessarily exact experiences. It can promote it to the rest of the community, the rest of the world, and tell people out there who have a transplant of any sort, heart, liver, whatever, that you can get out there and you can actually do things with it and enjoy it, enjoy the life. The way that the games are able to remind everybody how important organ donation is. And that message comes from people being out there, competing, having fun, doing their best, and in our fabulous fields of play and also in the glorious April weather that only Perth in Western Australia can offer. So it's a perfect combination, a great event. Unbelievable to have the World Games here in Perth is just like a dream come true. To be on the world stage in a hometown I think it's just an incredible once in a lifetime opportunity. I'm really excited, been looking forward to it for a while as soon as I I heard the 2023 games were going to be in Perth, I was so hyped. We can't wait to see you in Perth doing your best, competing hard and spreading that really important message.